The NASCAR Sprint Cup Series was at Darlington Raceway for the Bojangles Southern 500, and NASCAR had the drivers show off their cars in two single file pace laps to let the fans get a good look at the retro schemes. Kevin Harvick started the race in the top spot because qualifying was rained out, and Harvick shot out to an early lead. Lap 95, the yellow comes out for the first time when Trevor Bain goes for a spin trying to get onto pit road. Bain was the only car involved, but during the ensuing pit stops, the 48 of Jimmy Johnson, who had been fast all weekend long, was posted on pit road for a body modification. Watch the crew member push on the bodywork. NASCAR would penalize Jimmy Johnson, and he would have to come back down pit road under green to serve a pass-through penalty. On lap 204, we see Brian Scott go around off the nose of Tony Stewart. Before the spin, Scott was racing Tony Stewart off of the turn, and Tony apparently didn't like that. Smoke shoots back up the racetrack and gets into the back of Brian Scott. Scott spins, hits the wall, and afterwards, NASCAR would call Tony Stewart to the hauler for a post-race meeting about the incident. On lap 283, trouble on pit road for Kevin Harvick. The crew, who had struggled on pit road all night, pitted under caution and lost north of 10 spots due to a broken air gun. The four car came into the pits leading and went out 12th. Sure, we just lost this race. Pretty much over at this point. Something's wrong with Daniel's gun. We're trying to get one from the 10. Yeah. Ain't nothing we can do about it now. Just gonna have to make something happen here. Do the best we can. On lap 318, Tony Stewart would lose a motor, ending the three-time NASCAR Sprint Cup Series champion's chances to win his first Southern 500. And more trouble for his Stewart Haas racing teammate, Kurt Busch, who on lap 327 was involved in an accident with Paul Menard. That brought out a caution, and the leaders came down pit road, but needing a win to lock himself into the chase, Ryan Newman stays out. But soon after the restart, Martin Truex Jr. took the lead, and Newman would fall back and finish the night in eighth place. Later, Eric Almirola and Clint Boyer get together. Almirola gets hooked as Boyer makes his way back down the racetrack, and Almirola hits the wall hard. Almirola was checked and released from the infield care center, and on the final restart, Martin Truex Jr. leads the field to green, and he checks out. Martin Truex Jr. bookends the summer, winning the Bojangles Southern 500, the second crown jewel of the year after his Coca-Cola 600 win in May. For NASCAR.com, I'm Jonathan Merriman.